Good morning, here I've got a Celestron Ultima Pan Tilt Head Tripod and you're probably going to wonder why we've bought this it's because when we can go shooting we can put this on a viewfinder and here's the box it weighs 2.13 kilos this tripod I haven't opened it yet Anyway, let's open it and see what we've got, shall we? First challenge is getting into the box. Let's open the box. Here we go. Let's lift it out in front of you. And there we have it. No paperwork. So, let's open the plastic bag, and there you can see it comes in a nice carrier bag, and that doesn't feel too heavy, that's quite light, has a zip that you open like so, and out comes the tripod. I don't normally throw stuff all over the floor, however, for this it works well. We have a set of instructions. Okay, right, the instructions should appear somewhere around here. And after you've seen the instructions, we're going to show you how the tripod legs work and the various facilities this tripod offers. Thank you. Right, I'm going to try and show you a few things this can do. Now, everything I hope you can see is just so smooth and accurate. It's got a spirit level for levelness, you can undo this. It's just so accurate, it's like a Swiss watch. Here you've got the device you use to attach your scope to, you've got the markings there. But what's really cool is the way you've got a crank handle and you can get the height exactly, even clicking slowly you can get the height you want the scope perfectly for looking for long distances which I think is, you don't get that with a camera tripod, even the top range ones so that's pretty cool you can loosen things off here, you can tighten everything up, make sure it doesn't move, see loosen it and it moves Everything here is so adjustable, and I'll just move this around so you can see. It is just so, it's difficult to show. The operation is just so smooth. What you've also got is a spirit level here, so you've got one there. You've got a spirit level here. But this is the impressive thing, the crank handle, that you can make like a very light ratchet, or you can unscrew this. Can you see, it's just so, so well thought out. So well thought out, the way this works. For accuracy, for vision, but it's just so smooth. I wish I could show you, it's just so smooth, the operation. Fairly heavy duty, just spread it right out. It's pretty solid, it's light. And I think this is an impressive piece of kit. Thank you for watching. What is also impressive about this is it's just so quiet. So if you're watching birds, it's just so, I'll, I won't say anything. It's so quiet. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to show you, you've got feet here on the tripod. Now if I just spread these out a little bit, hopefully you can see there's a hook here. So you can hook the tripod onto your belt, so you've got it like that, you can hook it and carry it. Now I'm going to show you how you release the tripod legs. Just pull a clip, open it, pull it. Pull a clip open it, pull it, that's it, to put the legs back, 
simple stuff. Now what I will say is, this tripod, while it's quite sturdy, it's not as sturdy as the Manfrotto 190 camera tripod, but it's perfectly serviceable. Thank you. One of the major selling points of this tripod is when you're shooting, not everybody is six foot one, and my partner five foot three. Now very often with a tripod, you've got to mess around adjusting legs. Now this doesn't have an adjustable eyepiece, so you can't adjust this up and down. But what you can do with this tripod is this. It's got a ratchet, so if you're five foot three, you have it at that height, and if you're six foot one, have it at that height. You can tighten it so it goes a lot tighter so you can't move it as you can see or you can adjust the ratchet and you can lower it in stages so if you're all shooting together you can adjust this and have it at the perfect height for viewing your rounds going into the target and I think that's a major selling point of this tripod. Now you may be able to buy one of these with an adjustable eyepiece but I haven't seen one and normally with tripods you have to mess with the legs or you have to undo it and pull it up and down whereas this is so accurate where you've got the ratchets where you can adjust the scope. Thank you for watching. To finish off, apart from the fridge magnets and the cupboard, here is the scope on the tripod. And you can see here, I'm not doing it outside because it's minus five, but you can see the movement is perfect. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video has been of help as far as this uh, tripod is concerned. For the Celestron Ultima 65 or any other scope you wish to use for looking at feathered birds or for looking at your targets while target shooting. Thank you for watching.